Hi everyone, this is Ben Walls3 from United Gamers. We just won the Killzone 2 Online Championship. I'm going to walk you through some of the gameplay for our championship match. We are starting here on Caption Hold Game Type. We are already up 1 0 in the match. Alright, um, I'm going to take uh, our Caption Hold spot now and uh, let our Assault Class spawn on me. He just died. So it gives him a uh, good position. There's three caption hole points for uh, for teams to stay in the area and collect for points. One being on your side, or ISA side, one being near Hellgas side, and the one being right in the middle, being neutral. That one is pretty key. Everybody tries to hold their own and just kind of hold the bridge, which is right in the middle of the map. Uh, United Gamer strategy for Pirates Rise on uh, caption hold is uh, just gain as much ground as possible. This this whole map, it's you don't play one game at a time, you kind of play the game all at one. Uh, so this this big of a map, you want to have you want to have all the ground on the map. You want to push their team back as far as you can and gain as much ground as possible. So we kind of uh, went with the strategy of having our secondary tactician um, be on the middle bridge capturing the, the middle point with our engineer and uh, me and Nixon our assault class kind of took the flank and Nixon was watching ours uh, our caption hold spot so I was kind of just uh, watching the high side bridge um, calling people out and uh, working on the flank getting getting their attention now it seems that uh, we're holding the middle caption holds spot pretty well with uh, GTA and Diego. Give them uh, another airbot to help them out. <laughs> Jumped right in front of a rocket. The assault class and using the rockets is is, uh, is another key to winning the match. I mean, but it's all about the way you use the rockets. Um, so if you get rocket happy and you start shooting people instead of taking down bots then you're gonna kill one player but then those bots that you didn't kill are gonna end up killing you know two or three of your teammates so I mean even though you're gonna get one kill it, it's not gonna change the game by taking out one person with a rocket so what you need to do with rockets is take out bots instead of people and I mean it, it gets frustrating getting hit with the rocket one shot kill or whatever but then you gotta look at it and say hey he messed up he should have taken out those bots instead of taking me out and uh, I think that's where our assault class you know played much better than PK wise even though he was their leading ki uh, leading kill I mean he got most of their kills for him they uh, they didn't use it properly I think it backfired once again I'm, uh, I'm going to check on on our caption hold spot if if you're an aggressive team, um, you definitely want to keep putting your spawn points closer to closer to their caption hold spot. So you kind of just want to keep advancing, keep advancing. But um, squad leader is definitely crucial. The kind of if they're your squad leader, you can spawn off of your squad leader if he's alive. So it's it's really crucial that I stay alive most of the time. Um, as you can see, I mean I I died less than anybody in the game, so. Um, I kind of that's kind of what my goal is I'm not really a killer I just kind of stay alive and lay spawn points down best strat to go with is uh, one or two tacticians and um, one is usually a main tactician who just throws spawn points and the other is kind of a backup um, there's a lot of key things to know about throwing spawn points um, when where um, and keeping track of time because every spawn point um, lasts a minute 30 so it's very crucial that uh, you keep an eye on the clock and and time your spawn points uh, very carefully the way you throw a spawn point in this game is uh, whatever direction you're facing when you throw it the people who spawn off that spawn point face the opposite direction so it's very it's very crucial that every tactician knows that when throwing a spawn point because there's no spawn shield so if you throw a spawn that's backwards and facing the other way and somebody's spawn camp in your spawn point it's easy kills as soon as you spawn get shot in the back and die pk wise trying to get a a three cap now trying to hope for a desperation win and in, in caption hold 
they don't they really don't want to go down two zero then uh then that uh that pretty much seals the deal or at least guarantees you a draw and and playing another round. Well that's how we won. I wanna say thanks to my team and PKY and of course MLG and Sony for putting on the competition. This has been Ben Wallace from United Gamers, winners of the Kill Zone 2 online championship.